This is a video tour of the King Junior Suite in the Waldorf Astoria in Amsterdam. So this is the front door and you have a little bit of an entry table here. There's a coat closet over there. And this is um, the desk area. They have complimentary water and the glass bottles. Um, climate control. There's a TV here, and on the third floor here, there's the windows are just sort of on top, um, but it, I have the curtains closed now, but, um, and this little living room area over here, so the sofa's actually really nice. Um, it's not, a lot of times suites have, like, worn out or dirty furniture, and even at nice hotels, this one is pretty nice. Um, the bedroom area is here, and it's the third floor, so the ceiling slopes in a little bit. That's the top floor. Um, I think that probably is the radiators, I, I'm sure. Um, yeah, there's like a heating system in there, um, but it's, it's warm in the hotel. It's about 50 out right now in October, so the bedroom area is pretty nice. It's... Um, but that's comfortable. It's a little firm, but it's actually very comfortable. Um, and they have, it's kind of plain in a way, but I don't know. Like they didn't overdo it with the grandeur, but they have like, you know, the wainscoting and things. And um, there's a really nice view out here, but it's dark. So I'm gonna splice in a picture of what the view is. to the front door again, which is the coat closet. Um, so the dress, this is the closet that the light turns on when you go in here. Um, I should mention this room is about 900 euro a night, so it's about $1,000, maybe $1,200. So a bit pricey, so... Um, but they're incredibly nice here, and the types of things, like, they'll do, and it's just, oh, I can go into it more, but, um, so the bathroom is here. I was actually, I mean, this is gonna sound stupid, but to be honest, I was surprised that this is just ceramic tile in a hotel like this for this price. I mean, this is obviously marble, that's ceramic tile, and that's just kind of your standard... I mean, this is kind of, I don't know, it's nothing really. It's kind of what you'd see in an airport. <laughs> um, just surprised me a little bit. Um, I clearly moved in already, so there's the vanity with the mirror and there's robes. The nice bathtub, which, oh look, it has a little pillow. I didn't notice that before. And then you could go for a soak while you watch your shows. <laughs> I don't know how to turn... Are the towels always warm? Some of hotels, when you turn the light on, the towel warmer turns on, but I don't know. I actually don't even know what this is, but that's okay. The lights, I think, are almost all LED. They have that, like... I mean, I know our hotels have to do that now because of energy savings, but it has a, it's a little harsh, the lights. <laughs> that's the only thing I'd say. Um, in terms of service, I mean, I talked about it before, but... I mean, I, <laughs> they're unbelievable. Like I said to them, um, I have, I have eye allergies. And so I use this, this sinus rinse and I, I just have to buy distilled water. And I, I just kind of mentioned to them, do you know where I can find distilled water? They're like, oh no, no, sir. We'll bring you distilled water. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> they brought it for free and they have it in the hotel. And they said in Amsterdam, it's just not stocked in the grocery stores. And they brought it for free. Um, I mean, free, okay, I'm paying over $1,000 a night, but you know. Um, and then, what else? I wrote a little list of the things that they did that. Uh, oh, they give you a choice of four fragrances when you check in, if you want it sprayed in your room. And they all smell really good, but I just didn't want to do it. Because, like I said, I, have, I do have allergies, and they were a little bit bad today. So, um, and another time I came in, I was like, oh, I'm just, I ran into one of the staff, and I said, um, Hi, and I said, I just need to drop this off in my room. He's like, oh, no, no, sir, let me, please let me drop it off in your room. 
<laughs> and like I'm only on three, you know, if I was on 30 at the end of the hall or something, but, um, it would have taken me a minute, but you know, they're just so nice. And, um, they made a reservation for me at dinner. Um, and I ended up not going there, but they said, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Because I, there's a ton of places right near this hotel. It's just, I didn't, I don't know where I am. So, um, I like, Sometimes for the concierge just to make a reservation. <clears throat> so I don't go somewhere bad, but... Um, <clears throat> well, that's it. For... For the Waldorf Amsterdam. And if you really want a King Jr. suite, I'd recommend it. <laughs> I Well, to be honest, I think this is a great hotel if... Um, the price were a little bit lower... I understand why it's this expensive, but if you, I would stay here again for sure, but at a, a lower price. Oh, also, to, I should note, it's silent in here. You could hear a pin drop, yet we're in a good location. And right outside the door is a lot of things. The, H, the air system is very quiet. There's, like, no noise in here. Um, there was, it was, I don't like when the, the sun wakes me up, like, at 6 in the morning. So, um, they... They actually have like Velcro on the sides to keep the curtains. <laughs> like, so, I mean, they really go to every, um, they, they really took a lot into account. 